what is the optimal cadence? I want okay. the secret sauce here, man. I want yeah. the one cadence that rules them all. So, so here's the thing for those of you, for people that, because there's people use different wording like sequences and things like that. So, cadence in today's world a lot is how many times and when are you going to be reaching out to a prospect, correct? Yeah. Like, so, yeah. How many times? What what tools are we use? Yeah, voicemail, your phone, email, LinkedIn, whatever. When do we reach out to them? Things like that. So the answer to your question is this: Everybody's looking for the perfect cadence, the one that gets the best results. And if anybody ever tells you they have it, they're lying. There is no perfect cadence. It's going to be different. This this is one of the biggest frustrations that I, that I see that's out there. That everybody's looking for this easy button. They want the. You know, I get it. We want the. We want the least pass of resistance, right? Because selling, as rewarding as it can be, can also be the death of us if we're not getting the results that we want. If we're falling, how do I want to word this? If we're not meeting the minimum requirements of success that we're after, sales is no fun. Mm -hmm. Once we hit that level or exceed that level, sales is the greatest thing in the world. There is no perfect cadence. Uh, you, you know, there's going to be different. First of all, let, let's do this. So the, the first step is this. You have to realize there's no perfect cadence out there. It's going to depend on certain scenarios. Uh, so, what, so what are those scenarios? Well, let's take lead types. The very first thing you have to look at when you're going to decide on on how often and what mediums are you going to use to go after a prospect, you want to look at the lead. And for starters, is it a warm lead or is it a cold lead? Well, and I got to stop you right there, Michael. Warm lead, cold lead. Give me the difference real quick. What, huh. What's the difference between warm and cold for those of you? Well, it, it depends. If you want to listen to people that want to tell you what you want to hear, they're going to tell you that a warm lead is when you do research on a prospect. They say, don't make cold calls, just research on a prospect. That's warm. And that's categorically false. A warm lead is a prospect that is raising their hand. So in other words, the true definition of a cold call is contacting any prospect that is not currently raising their hand, right? Mm -hmm. So you can do all the research you want on a prospect, that doesn't make it any warmer for them on the other side. Okay. And that's okay. That's totally okay. There's a lot of people that do research on the lead and then they have the confidence and they have the right information to call that lead and, and, and get the call going. Perfect. Yep. It's still a cold call, right? So with that being said, a warm lead is somebody that's raising their hand. Some of you that are paying attention and listening to this or will listen to this, you might have inbound leads, right? They fill a form out, they attended a webinar, they're asking for information, they downloaded a white paper, maybe they're submitting a proposal request, right? If if we log off this session and I and my CRM and my email box notifies me that somebody filled out a, a, a price request on, on my site, I might call that person three times in one day. Yeah. Simply because, you know, they're out there looking and I want to get a hold of them, right? So I might, as soon as I get that lead, I call it right away. I, if I get voicemail, I'll leave voicemail, send an email. But I might schedule a task to try them again in two hours. And then if I don't hear from them then, I might try them again at the end of the day. Got it, right? got it. Because, okay. because they were really hot, right? Yeah. yeah, so let's hit a couple of these. So number one, I think we got the definition down. So we, we understand, we're when we talk about our cadence, you guys, today's focus is how we're reaching out to people. I always like this concept of a sequence of activities to increase your contact and qualification rates. Michael gave a good definition. But I like the point that Michael just made on, there's no such thing as a perfect cadence. You've got something different for inbound and something potentially different for outbound, or let's call yeah. it warm and cold. Yeah. And then, Michael, you said potentially, and let's just keep double clicking on this. We got a couple people on the Q&A that hit this. Right. Um, three calls in a day, yeah. I mean, even for a warm lead. I mean, is that something that you consider to be best practice or are you just pulling our chain on that? No, 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 no. I, I, if it's a, notice that if it's a, somebody filled out a proposal request, for on my website and I call them and I get voicemail, I'll leave voicemail, I'll send an email and then I'm gonna immediately schedule a second attempt for me. It's still a first time call by the way, when I try them again, it's just a second attempt, first time call. Okay. I'll try it again like two hours, depending on the day. I mean, if the warm lead comes, or if that type of hot lead comes in at the end of the day, it's a different story, right? Yep. But if I get it, you know, before noon, I'm gonna try in mid afternoon and then if I still don't hear from, when I call the second time, I'll probably get the gatekeeper to do to try to page them or say, hey, you know, they reach out to me. I'm trying to get back to them. I'm going to be, you know, uh, in a meeting later this afternoon. Do you know if they're available? Hold on a second. And I get that whole thing going. And if they come back, they're still not available. Then I will try them again one more time at the end of the day, just because they raise. Listen, if they raise their hand like that, I'm not the only person they probably Google to find a solution for. 
They could be talking to my competitors. I'm, I'm so glad you talked about this, guys, and this is important. And keep the questions coming um, either in the Q&A or the chat. I promise I'll get to them. I think sometimes on Cadence, and this is a sales rep thing, we often get scared like we're bugging them too much, but you raised an important point. When they came to you and said, I want to talk to you, or "I again, I'm interested, hey, it's your job to try to get, get back to them and get them on the line. So yeah. that's a pretty aggressive concept, but I think oftentimes, especially on inbound, we don't go aggressive enough. We go with this once every five days for four weeks, and it's like, what? They've already bought. They're interested, right? Yeah, the chances are if it's if it's a warm or hot lead, if it's a hot lead, like an inbound hot lead like that, every five days, they probably already bought or they got or they cooled off. Now, let, let's flip to the other side. If your job is to do outbound prospecting, hopefully you know how to pick your zebras out of the herd first. Yes. Right? Exactly. In other words, you know how to, you're not just, I, I got to go on a rant here. Uh, I had somebody reach out to me this morning on LinkedIn. I accepted their request. Two seconds later, I got this long sales pitch about stuff I don't even know what he's talking about. Yeah. Right? And I'm not even qualified for that. So hope, when I say no, have you pick your zebra out of the herd, hopefully you know what your, your what I call KPIs are, your key prospecting indicators. So you go, hey, this prospect, if they have this, this, and this, they're at least qualified to be a suspect. So let's just get right. the basics out of the way. Yep. Not your basic list, you know they're suspects, but they're cold. They didn't, read, they didn't raise their hand, they didn't reach out to you. I would not call them three times in one day because now that's harassment, right? You see the difference? Yeah. If it's a hot lead, they ask for a proposal, I want to reach out to them you know, a couple times in that one day to try to get them because they're going to be, they're talking to my competitors. I want to get on that radar. If it's a cold lead, there's all kinds of different, uh, you know, cadence that are out there. And, and, and again, there's not a perfect one, 